Hello! I'm Kelly. And I'm Adam. Welcome to I Love You But, where we talk about common relationship issues. And our advice and our deal. While we drink wine. While we drink wine. We're definitely drunk right now. Hashtag America. Good one. Good one. I love you, but can we Christmas talk? presents. Christmas presents. Can we talk about this right now? Or Hanukkah presents or holiday presents. Holiday. Let's talk about holiday presents. Whatever <coughs> presents you get for one another on the holiday season. Winter solstice presents. We'll just use Christmas as an example. So the following conversation is about, but not limited to, Christmas. There's a couple things that go into getting Christmas presents or holiday gifts with your significant other. Totally. Totally. Totally, bro. Totally, dude. Totally. Kelly's big thing, it is totally about the thought and not the cost. If it's my thing, let me say it. It's totally about the thought and not the cost. Said Kelly for the first time. For any gift that you get at any time. I think that there are a few super important conversations you should have. You should have. Going into Christmas and buying The gifts. holiday season. Something hopefully you know, or if you're in a mature enough relationship, you can just sit down and ask, what kind of gift giver are you and your partner? For example, <laughs> Adam likes to give monetary gifts. And As in, he doesn't give me money, but yeah. he likes to be like, this was $200. Could you imagine if we had been together six six months and I like was like, here's a card, she opens it up, there's a $20 bill. <laughs> if Kelly and I are like, only spend 50 bucks, I'm like, okay. But in my head, I'm like, I'm going to spend one. 250 <laughs> God damn. I'd say that Adam likes to show that he can spend a lot of money on a gift. Also, he likes to know that your gift is useful as well. Don't give me some bullshit I don't motherfucking need, you motherfucker. The past few years for Christmas, he's gotten me some microphones, which is actually really thoughtful because I do voiceover. It's great. But he also uses the microphones for himself. More than And he's her. also like, this was a $200 microphone. I'm like, this which is, is okay. Which is okay, like, that's just how he likes to give gifts. By getting myself a gift. Yep. <laughs> One year, he got me a backpack. It's true. Which you so, don't think is romantic, but I actually really needed a backpack. So he got it for me out of necessity, mm -hmm. and he got me a really nice backpack. On the other side, I like to get Adam gifts that... Have no monetary value and are totally sentimental in nature. A year or two ago, it was Christmas slash our anniversary, because, you know, it's the same fucking day. I made him a frame of all of the song lyrics that we like from all of our favorite love songs if you will it was very easy to make i had to buy the frame and then i printed out the lyrics or cut them out from magazines or whatever and made the frame and it was a very intentional thoughtful gift for our anniversary it was great another amazing gift that you gave me was a little like pamphlet of uh favors coupons. yeah coupon coupon favors i gave a call personalized in. coupon book yeah like no dishes for me for three days you know like those kinds of things that was so cool and so awesome and like i also I said still that i would it. watch football whoa whoa kelly is whoa. not like the bro girlfriend that walks that watches football with like i mean i can be friends. but You're, i'm just naturally not slash you have never been that in our relationship ever not once i made snacks for you guys so with the holidays and giving gifts i think that it really comes back to like what is your intention of this gift i think that there are a few things that go into that so if your partner gets you a gift that is not you at all you have a couple of choices so the first choice is you either grin and bear it because you understand that their intention behind the gift was pure and it was great and they were really thinking of you when they got the gift, but they just like were off, yeah. right? The other option is you need to reevaluate your relationship. <laughs> because you don't know each other. Because you don't know each other. It's over. Yeah, if they don't know you, then like maybe you really shouldn't be with them. Gift giving can be illuminating in that way. It can be. A major question that you should probably ask or figure out beforehand is what kind of gift giver you and your partner are. Sit down and just ask him what kind of gift giver you are. That's, I think that's totally fine. You're either a sentimental or a monetary gift giver. 
I think, for Christmas. You're one or the other, And that's really. something that Adam and I have figured out in the past yeah. few years. So figure out what you are in your relationship. And then keep in mind that the gift is not for you. It's for the other person. So I think that's the most important thing. Mm -hmm. Definitely. And it's so easy to forget. I don't want to spend time making something for my fiancé. That's that's not true. But I do want to spend time making something for her that she will enjoy. Even if it's not the thing that makes the most sense to me, I know that she'll enjoy it. And in the past, when I've gotten her something that's really nice and logical, which are the two things that I like, I've given her a heads up like two weeks in advance. I straight up told her when I got her that North Face he backpack. You can't keep a secret! I didn't tell you I got you a backpack. I just said, look, my gift's not sexy, but you will love it because you're going to use it every single day and it will improve your life. My advice is to be the Leslie Nope of gift giving. <laughs> and if you haven't seen that episode of Parks and Recreation, please watch it now. What I mean by that, if you haven't watched Parks and Recreation, is that Leslie Nope gives people's, gives, let, and what I mean that, and what I mean by that is that Leslie Nope gives people gifts that they want to receive. They aren't thinking about themselves when they're giving the gift. How is the gift receiver going to feel after you have gifted them the gift? Another thing that you've probably fallen into in your relationship is like, well, we don't have a lot of money. Why don't we set X amount? You can't spend over this and I won't spend over this. And then you kind of do that. That's fine as long as you both stick to it. Yes. Straight up, I was the person who didn't like to stick to it. I like to go, I know we said $50, but I spent $150. Where was I? Give giving? If you don't st stick to it, it's literally disrespectful. Don't. Don't try to impress the other person when you've established something. Please stick to it, because if you don't, it makes the other person feel like an asshole. I think that's really fun, though. Like, even if you can afford more than $50, or however much amount that you want to put for yourself, I think it's really fun to figure out and be what, creative. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, can, you can get a lot of little gifts, or sure. you can get one big $50 gift. Like, I, I just think it's super exciting if you stick so with fun. that. No matter what your income is. Because then you're not competing with the dollar amount. Hashtag, Hashtag truth. truth. You're not competing with the dollar amount. You're competing with like How intention much you think, yeah, and you're competing, thoughtfulness. And you're competing with love. You're competing with love. You're competing with love. Also, I would like to say don't compare your gifts. Because if one person is more about monetary value and the other person is more about sentimental value you can't compare those at all because if you remember or if you're hip to the love languages people give and receive love in different ways you're literally comparing apples to oranges and somebody just sees it as an entirely different thing your intention behind the gift no matter what it is whether it's a material object an experience whatever whatever comes across it does come across thank you that was great that comes across? Yeah. So this holiday season, really consider the gift that you're getting for your significant other. Not the cons- not- Whoa. And give it to them for them to appreciate, not for you to appreciate. This has been- I, I love, love you, you but, but- We need to talk about holiday, holiday gifts. gifts. Thank you guys so much for being here this evening. Have a beautiful rest of your night. Like, like comment, comment, subscribe. Let us know any relationship questions that you have. We would love to talk about them. If you've ever had a relationship that ended because of a gift that you received or gave, please tell us. I would love to hear that story. If you have any <laughs> gift-related relationship questions, whether it's about Christmas gifts, Hanukkah gifts, Kwanzaa gifts, I don't even know the other holidays, but like, if you have those questions, let us know. Ask. Ask them, please, and we will definitely answer them. We would love to answer them, and we appreciate all of you. TGFN. Thank you so much for watching. Follow us on Instagram at I Love You But Channel. Follow us on Twitter at I Love You But Vids. Whoa. Thank you so much. This has been I Love You But. We're drunk. Have a wonderful night. We look forward to hearing from you soon. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.